good afternoon. Those are the heroes of our occasion today, the director of our factory and a representative of the company that installs the equipment, Elena Alexandrovna. Hello, hello, thank you for coming to the opening of our new candy factory, built with the most modern equipment. But first I would like to direct your attention to the digital scoreboard. We installed it first and we immediately started a two-week backlog. We needed two weeks to assemble a team of the best specialists, develop a product line and install new conveyors. You may ask how we managed to do all this in such a short time, a simple. The main principles of our holding company are knowledge, precision, and impeccable quality. And in a few minutes, we will start the conveyors. I would like to turn the microphone to Sergei Mironov. Go on. Thank you. I would like to tell you a little bit about our equipment. What's going on? The electronic lock in the control room is jammed. Goddamn electronics. Nobody's inside. We won't be able to start the conveyor. A door like this. But we have implemented all international quality standards. What kind of variants do we have? We can cut hinges, press out the glass. In just three minutes we can see that. We only have three minutes. Maybe just tell reporters by word how the candy is made. I won't let anyone embarrass me. If I said that the conveyor belt would start on time, then it will start on time. Oh God, what to do, what to do. Please stop panicking. There is always another way out. There is always a way out, or the entrance. Does the control room also have this kind of ventilation? Of course. Stand here. Ouch. Take it. Hold me up. How's she going to get the other side of the bars off? I don't know. Let's start the back report. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Damn, broke a fingernail.
Good morning. Good morning, Zana. Why not buy limousine today? So why is that? You are a star after yesterday. Do you already know? What are you? You got through the air vent? Huh. How many years we've been working, and I never stopped wondering about you. You know, the main thing is the result. We'll spare no expense. That's right. Are you ready to accept congratulations from your superiors? I think the board has better business to attend to. Hello, Elena Alexandrovna. I congratulate you on the launch of your new facility. Thank you, Inaka. Good afternoon, Zana Viktorovna. Hello. That's what I call a real crisis manager. I'm sure everyone would have done the same thing if they were me. I don't think anyone here would crawl into a vent. <laughs> All kidding aside, what about the director of the factory? Did you have him fired? I don't think he should be fired. Tell me, was it his fault that the project almost fell through? No, no, it was absolute force majeure. Actually, firing a person is the easiest thing to do. In my opinion, for our company, a good manager is worth his weight in gold. We have to keep them safe, help them work. And I like your non-traditional approaches to working with personnel. The matter is closed. What do we have next? Sina Viktorovna? We have to discuss one of our facilities, a sawmill. Our holding company owns dozens of plants and factories. But we've never had such a nightmare. Because of this sawmill, we're losing money all over the place. Look, there is nowhere to fall below this arrow. How much have we already invested in developing the infrastructure of this facility? And it's no use. A year ago, I personally went to the sawmill with an inspection. There is no infrastructure and there is nothing to develop there. Who is the manager now? There have been many managers over the years. No one stays long. The position is now held by... What's his name? Andrey. Danilov, yes. Danilov. And what kind of experience does he have? Before that, he worked as an ordinary logger. Why was he promoted? No one wants to go there, not for any money. And he's the only one with a college degree, so they appointed him when his predecessor just ran away. So, any thoughts on the sawmill? My suggestion is to sell it. Let's postpone this question. We have very important news. I have decided to leave my position as general manager. I am retiring in a month and... Make coffee. You're welcome, Inaka. Yes, sure. Look, I was stunned. I thought that Mummy would never leave his post. I wonder who will be appointed to the position of general manager. Who could it be? Let me guess. What are you implying? Well, everyone knows it's going to be you. Well, who's everybody? Come on. If they don't know, they can certainly guess. I think there are a lot of applicants for this position. Len, you've been dreaming about this for so long. All the more reason you deserve it. What about you? Will you support me? Sure. Felix Stepanovic. Rumor has it you want to appoint Yelena to the position of general manager? They say for a reason. She is talented and promising. It's a shame that for the position of general manager, perspective is more of a disadvantage. What do you mean? Felix Stepanovic. 
The holding company needs a skillful manager, not a promising one. I think Lenica has too little experience. Do you think she can't handle it? I believe in Lena more than anyone else. It's just that I don't think she's faced any real difficulties. But she has quite a few successful projects under her belt. Felix Stepanovic. Her facilities are already established productions with temporary difficulties. This is not something she would have to face as a general manager. Yes, you're right. She doesn't have enough serious experience yet. You understand that if you make the wrong choice, the shareholders will have questions and those questions will be for you. If I were you, I'd play it safe. I would give Lenica a chance to prove herself. Send her to a difficult job like a sawmill. Is this the loss-making facility we were talking about, but you offered to sell it? Yes, I did, but then I had an idea. You can kill two birds with one stone. I'm sure Lena can do it. And you'll see what she can really do. Okay. Samuel Felix Stepanovic? I, I mean, me. It's not very rational to send such a specialist as me to this wilderness. It's a very important facility for us. But Sana Viktorovna said that the Sama was bankrupt. Okay, let's be clear. I see you as a general manager, but I didn't say that to sweeten the pot. You really are my prime candidate. But I want to see what you can do. The sawmill is the perfect opportunity for you to show it. I get it. That's fine. As soon as you get the place in order and the facility is profitable, you'll be appointed general manager. I won't let you down. We have already sent a telegram to the sawmill about your arrival. You will be met. A telegram? To add to all the other troubles, there are problems with communication. It's okay. I'll clean it up. You can count on it. I don't doubt it. And I'm not the only one. Zana Viktorovna is also sure that only you can cope with the sawmill. Zana Viktorovna? Well, of course. Len, what's wrong? So it was your idea to send me to the sawmill? Well, I just wanted to. Were you trying to set me up and promote yourself? I thought we were friends. You know what, friend? I've been working at this company longer than you have, and all this time I've been waiting for that old man to retire. What's in it for me? Nothing? Then you don't deserve more than that. Well, of course, you're just one of a kind. You come through the vents and everyone's squealing with excitement. I don't care. I know I deserve this job. Only the bosses see it differently. And the bosses are wrong. And I will prove it to them, although, no, you'll prove it yourself when you screw up the sawmill business. Sana, you know very well that no project of mine has ever failed. Everything happens for the first time. You have no idea what this place is like. I'm going to make the sawmill turn a profit, no matter what it costs me. 
And when I get back, you'll be gone. And you try to come back. Light. Good evening, Irida, the voice assistant, welcomes you. I hope your day is going well. Keep on hoping. Would you like to listen to today's notifications? All I wish for is a glass of wine and a hot bath. The command is unrecognized. Repeat the command. Irida, open the curtains. Turn off the lights. Jazz. Irida, the weather in Orlovka. The locality is not identified. Repeat, please. Orlovka. The locality is not identified. Repeat, please. Oh dear, where am I going? Hello, you must be meeting me. Huh? Are you from the sawmill? Do I look crazy to you? Oh, you know, that's the situation. I was supposed to be met and wasn't. And now I don't know how to get there. Is there any transportation around here? The bus runs once a day, but it was already there. The next one is tomorrow. Oh, come on. That's terrible. What am I going to do? And there's nothing to catch here. Wait, you can give me a ride. Where to? The sawmill? It's a long way. Please, I'll pay you twice as much.
That's it, we're here. What do you mean? Where are you going? Why have you stopped? You asked me to give you a lift, so I gave you as much of a lift as I could. It rained recently, the road was washed out, I can't pass there. Do you suggest that I walk? It's none of my business, as long as you pay as we agreed. I'm not going to pay you anything, because you didn't take me there. Ah. Put my suitcases back, put them back. No, then no, what suitcases? Oh, like that? Yes. Okay. That's better. And the suitcases? Good luck getting there. Wait, where is this village anyway? All the way straight ahead. An hour and a half of walking. An hour and a half on foot. That's if you walk fast. Man, look. I'll pay you two, three, five times as much, please. I don't care if it's ten, it's such a mess. If I get stuck there, the devil can't get me out, so the car is more important to me. Please don't leave me here, please. Wait, wait. Thank you very much. Take me to the village, to the sawmill. Look, why do you want to go there? Do you have relatives there? No, I'm going on a business trip. I'm the new head of the sawmill. What do you mean, the sawmill manager? Score by. Yes, Elena Alexandrovna. Oh, Elena Alexandrovna, it turns out you're a girl, and I thought it would be a man. Excuse me? Andrei Danilov, excuse me. Head of the sawmill. Wait, were you supposed to meet me at the train station? Yeah, I thought it was going to be a man. I got a telegram. There's a last name and initials. So I thought. You were thinking. I was waiting at the station for an hour, and you were thinking. Look, but I didn't think that they would send a girl to be the new head of the sawmill. What's wrong with your phone? Why? I called you a hundred times. This is all of her. There are problems with communication here, and in that wilderness where we're going, you can only get a connection from the top of a tree. That's why the sawmill is dying. I see her boss can't run a simple Errand. Look, you shouldn't jump to such hasty conclusions before you've got it all figured out. And I figured it out. What is the problem here? Or rather, who is the problem? Don't you think it's a little silly to insult the only person who can give you a ride? And don't manipulate me, man. I'll get there myself if I have to. What's so funny? How can I put it gently? You overestimate your abilities a little bit. It's not the city. I'll put it up. Leave it, please. Give it back. Look, what are you doing? How? I'll get there myself. Well, listen, at least take the keys to your house. Here's the last house on the junction. I'll figure it out. I don't doubt it. You might as well get in the car. There's a storm coming. Scared you fast your bosses? I'm not afraid of anything. I just really wanted to be nice. Are you going to sit down? Strange. I wasn't warned that you had to repeat everything twice. Suit yourself.
my god. What is this hole? It's horrible. There must be mice in here. No. No, certainly not you. So you were here last week, weren't you? No. I'm telling you, I went over it. It's okay. Yeah, hey. Where's he going? Andriaka drove by. Come on. How did you get home? As you can see, not very gentlemanly to ask how I am when you left me on the road. I offered you to ride in my car, but you refused. Actually, you forgot to meet me. I didn't forget, I thought. I know thinking is in your strong suit, but I came here to work. I didn't come here to work. So when are you gonna show me the sawmill? Maybe you'll get the hang of it for a while, ho. Huh? Thank you. I'm getting used to it. I don't think you want to talk to this stuff like that. Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama, oh. What are you smirking about? You think you look better. What's wrong with me? Look at you, you're shaggy. You're unshaven, you're the boss, and you're dressed like some kind of tramp. That's my image, a lumberjack. Yeah, it's not a good image. You don't like it? I can't stand unshaven men. The water's cold. There's no hot water, the boiler's broken. I see, no light. Storm ripped out the wires, they'll fix it soon. Phone's dead. What do you need a phone for if there's no service? I need an alarm clock. What are you? Stop smoking a cigarette. Wow, he is back. There's a lot of snow everywhere. And he... He is here again. You've got to calm down. Well, here's the sawmill, and we send the finished logs over there to, to the warehouse. Eleanor, please take a tour. First of all, call me Elena Alexandrovna. And secondly, if you want to warn me about something, it's better to do it in advance. We're perfectly all right. So we have a sawmill over there. MMM. That's where we bring the logs in, and then we send the processed wood to those sheds for storage. Why is there so much trash here? Industrial waste. 
Andrei Alexievich. The garbage must be removed by evening. As you wish, yes. And by the way, you can call me Andrei, it's shorter and I'm used to it. No, Andrei Alexievich. Elena Alexandrovna, don't take it as a lecture. But we're in the woods here. And it's not customary here. I don't know what's accepted and what's not. I'm not interested. But things will change. I don't doubt it. Hello. Hello. This is our friendly team. And I see, Andrei Alexievich, that one object is not enough for you. Our new manager is Elena Alexandrovna. Hello. Hello. This is Boris. Hello, Kolya. Nice to meet you. I'll introduce the others later. I see you're not bored, playing cards. Oh, that's right. There's not enough gasoline for all the crews, so we decided to have lunch. Instead of lunch, we decided to play a game. At 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah. Well, let's move on. Don't touch me with your hands. Thank you. What did they say about gasoline? Gasoline? Nothing. They were talking about lunch and breakfast. Please. Andre, did you bring me a spigot? How many times have I asked you? Come on. Mikhalik, this is a welder, mechanic, and just a great guy. Our new manager is Elena. Alexandrovna. 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 Hello. My name is Mikhail Mikhailovich by passport, for someone Mikhailik, and for someone Uncle Misha. Pleased to meet you. Well, at last there will be order in this wilderness. How did you get there? No accidents. How did you get settled in? Well, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yes, let's not distract a man from his work. Let me show you the office and, I remember, no hands. When you want somebody to chop wood, you choose Jenna, and when I ask for an advance, you don't care. Jenna, hi. Hi. Please. To the right. Well, this is our whole office, just two rooms. This one is for me and the accounting department, Marina. Meet our chief accountant, Marina. Our new manager is Elena Alexandrovna. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Very glad you're here. Finally, we'll have someone to gossip with. I don't like gossip, especially in the workplace. Oh, I mean, we're a men's team, so... That's our whole management of our sawmill. Yeah, we work side by side. What's this map? This is our forest. There are logging sectors. Have you eaten yet? No. Do you want pancakes? What pancakes? Here you go. What do these flags mean? On the green ones are explored areas, the yellow ones are for logging, the red ones are the unexplored ones. Uh-huh, and where would I work? I'm right here at this desk. Well, you just get settled in a little bit. I'm gonna go to work. Work. Thank you. Hello, colleagues. Have you lost your mind? So, what's up? Why are you sitting down, playing cards? What about us? We, you yourself, gave our brigade a break, because there's not enough gasoline for everyone. A special thanks to you for mentioning gasoline. My colleague, nice work, too. What did I say? Why did she come in the first place? I don't know what went through their minds. So, is she going to stay here for long? I hope not, yes, Mikhail. Bring the light to the house of a new leader. Got it. You two? Take these three and take the pile out of the warehouse. Which one? Everything, all of it. Where are you going? To get your spigot. It's necessary. 
Let's work, men, come on, let's go. Come on, come on, don't smoke, go on. Marinaka, are you preparing documentation for me? Yes, just a second. Here you are. What's this? Records. I'm sorry, don't you have an electronic database? You know, some graphs, well, numbers. I just don't know how I can make sense of all this paperwork at the sawmill. Well, we're kind of in the process. Yes. Can I see the personnel files, too? Yeah, sure. Oh dear, this is the first time I've ever seen files in such disarray. Here you go. Thank you. And Marinoka, are there any more personnel files? Nope. Why so few? Mice have not the rest of them. Are you kidding me? No, of course not. We do have a problem with them. And how will I know who I will work with? Know what? All our guys are good. Marina, and how do you imagine I will report to the office at the sawmill? Things are going pretty well, and the guys we have seem to be good. Something like that. Oh, no, no, please. Are you feeling sick? Would you like some water? No. I need to contact Andri, and there's no connection here. So the radio is the only thing that works here without any problems. How do you use it? Look, to talk, you press this button. The second channel is Andri, the third one is Michaelik, the first one is General. Thank you, I got it. <coughs> Andri Alexievic, over. Alexievic. Andri Alexievic. Over. Morinka, is that you? No, this is Elena Alexandrovna. I'm looking for Andrei Alexievich. Over. What, Elena Alexandrovna? This is our new chief. Over. I'm looking for Andrei Alexievich. Is he with you? Over. I didn't know we had Andrei Alexievich. No, he's not here. Tell me. Will there be an advance or not? You'll be screwed. No advance. I went to the accounting department. There is no money. Over. Will you at least bring gasoline? The same question. What about prepayment? Over. Can you please not interrupt while I'm trying to find Andrei Alexievich? Over. Alexievich. Alexievich. Hey, be quiet there. Why are you shouting, Elena Alexandrovna? This is Mikuli. Mikhail Mikhailik, I'm looking for Andrei. Is he with you? Over. Andrei went to the warehouse to negotiate for gasoline. Maybe I'll meet him. I'll tell him what to say. Over. I don't need anything. Thank you very much. Over. And why do we need any gasoline if we don't have an advance? Why do I have to work for thank you?
Thank God. Life is getting better. Well, why? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. I'm listening. I hope everything's going according to plan. Yes. Everything's going according to plan. She's here. No one's meeting her. I also tried to make her first day at work a nightmare. I don't think she'll be here long. That's great. Keep up the good work. Hello, hello. Yes. What about our agreement? Sure. Yeah, as soon as Elena fails with the sawmill, I'll have you transferred from this neck of the woods to head office, to a good place and a good position. I want Andrei Danilov transferred with me. Of course, it's a deal, just for starters, Yelena should run off with her tail between her legs. I got it. Still in the wilderness. I won't give up. Come on, come on, come on, press on. Good morning. Mikhail Mikhailovich. Hello, Elena Alexandrovna. There you go. Come on, Walker. Hold it down there. Marina, good morning. Good morning, Elena Alexandrovna. How did you sleep? Fine, thank you. Where is Andrei Alexeyevic? He went to the forest with his brigade. Thank you.
Just be careful, because I know he's good at it. I agree. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Where is Andrei Alexeyevich? Here at the site. Thank you. These should be taken. Andrei Alexeyevich, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? It's dangerous for outsiders. The only danger here is slovenliness and laziness. And you're to blame for that. As the boss, I'm talking to you, by the way. I'm fixing this all. For some reason, it seems to me you're avoiding talking to me. Why is that? Here they are, go ahead. Are you going to tell me how you let this mess happen? Have you seen the state of the paperwork, the books? I don't stick my nose in there. Or maybe that's the problem. That's why you have such chaos everywhere. Nobody knows what they're doing. I've never seen such sloppiness anywhere. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I was checking the motor. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, you said something about sloppiness. Well, there you go. We're all right. You hear that? Everybody's working. I hear that. Just maybe you can tell me why the sawmill is making a loss. You don't say. Then the next question is, why are the warehouses half empty, the lumber's out of sight? Because it rained. The roads were washed out. Well, why would we fill a warehouse with wood if no truck can get it out? We have to wait for it to dry out. Well, if only you wanted to. If only there were roads. Next question. I saw the river on the map. Why aren't you floating wood down the river? Because if you were a bit more attentive, you would see that there is a huge mountain blocking all the access to the river. It's very expensive to build a bypass. Andri, you have your own excuses for everything. These are not excuses. This is objective reality. Tell me, why were you sent here? Have you ever run a facility like this? Well, between a sawmill and, say, a chocolate factory, there's no difference. The management principles are the same. The difference is enormous. It's a different world and different people. It's about time you realize that. It's about time you realize that I came here to clean up the mess. And I will. Elena Alexandrovna, good luck. Andrei Alexievich, where are you going? I haven't finished with you yet. Like a cat and a dog. Andrei Alexievich, wait, why are your backs to me? Yes, it looks like there won't be a case. Yeah, yeah, don't smoke here. Why are you even standing there? So that's, what's that? Lunch. Lunch. Andrei Alexievich. Where are you going? I haven't finished with you yet. I already know what you're going to say, and I have work to do. A boss should sit in his office, not run through the woods with a chainsaw. You can't see much from the office. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm respected. Look, you should be respected for your management skills. Well, maybe that's the way it is in the capital, but it's a little different here. And get out of my way, please. How dare you speak to me like that? You're standing near an anthill. <gasps> Mommies, get them off me. You said not to touch you with hands. Touch me, touch me. Hold still, hold still, some more. The last of them. Thank you. For the future, there are not only ants in the forest. If you go alone, always take your walkie-talkie with you. Keep your walkie-talkie charged. You'd better be worried about the sawmill. If you get lost, stay where you are and they'll find you. Andri, we're out of gasoline. What do we do? Over. And we're out. Over. What do we do, Andri? Over. What do we do? Everybody go home.
I don't understand. What's your problem with gasoline? There's no problem with the gas. There's a problem with the warehouse that dispenses it. The director's a rogue. He's building himself a bathhouse. He needs logs. So I guess he's gonna have some of the logs. I don't understand what the hell logs are. I thought you had a contract with him. Look, in this neck of the woods, everything's better by barter. I see, okay. So no logs for anyone. What's his last name? Kabinov. Mikuli, take me to the warehouse. Well, what's the smoke break? You're having an eternal smoke break. So what's the problem? We've done everything. Go on, have a smoke. She's the one who went to Kabinov's warehouse to get gasoline. I guess we'll go. Kavanov? Hold on. Elena Alexandrovna, the new manager of the sawmill. Nice to meet you. I'm not very pleased. There's no time for your pleasantries. Why, there's no gasoline. How not? There are two tankers in the car park. I don't need them in the car park. I need them in my sawmill. Fill out the bills of lading. They'll be here in a week. I need it tomorrow. I need the logs yesterday. I don't think you understand. If the tanks don't show up at the sawmill tomorrow, I'll pick up every piece of paper. I'll call back. I'll check every contract that's been in place since your warehouse began, and I think I'll find a lot of interesting stuff. Do you understand me? I hear you. Take it easy. I'll do my best. No, you will. Well, all right, I will. Good day. Andre, would you like some tea? Yeah. Did our boss find you? Yeah, she did. She went to the warehouse to clean up. She's kind of weird. <laughs> Nothing's right with her. Why'd they send her here? Well, we'll see. What's up? Did you get dirty? Mikulik and Elena Alexandrovna are here. I'm going to find out what they have there. Aha. Uh -huh. Tomorrow the gasoline will be there. Oh, really? Yes. It's a pity you didn't see how I threatened them at the warehouse. Learned a thing or two about how to handle this kind of thing. Yeah, that's a pity. Missed such a show. Right, got it. I'm gonna go get a cup of tea. And you're being sarcastic. Not being able to admit defeat. What's that? I can. You took me in and dipped me like a kitten. You gave me a master class. Next time you can't handle something, let me know, we won't waste time. I'm warning you in advance. Since you're doing so well, you take it from here. Thank you for admitting to your own ineptitude. Oh, one more thing, if you ever stop working and the whole house of cards starts falling apart, let's make a deal. Don't come to me for help. Andrei Alexeyevich. Your help is the last thing this sawmill needs. You're better at waving a chainsaw than me. Thank you. Meme. Elena. Alexandrovna. I wanted to tell you this morning. You look great.
Nikolik, do you want a biscuit? No, I don't. So, which channel is it anyway? I forget. General One. One, one. Hello, this is Elena Alexandrovna. I'm asking everyone to meet at the warehouse in 20 minutes. Thank you. So, what's up? Over. It's the end of the working day. And I'm already at the warehouse. Should I run, too? I'd like everyone to gather, please. Thank you. I see. We're not very good at humor. Elena Alexandrovna, how about some tea? Yes. Mikhail Mikhailovich, please, tea. What happened? The hell knows. Oh, Nikolik. Hello. Hey. How are you? Hello, everyone. Thank you for gathering. We're not going to talk to you about problems. I think you already know that the sawmill is practically bankrupt. But I have been to many of our holding companies, and I would like to say that the main lesson I have learned is that the success of a company does not always depend on technology and equipment or logistics, which we have a big problem with. Hey, what's logistics? I'm listening. The success of a company depends on its employees, and I personally believe in the success of our sawmill because I can see in your eyes a sincere desire to work. Get in advance. Work for real. And you will have that opportunity. Starting tomorrow, things will be different. Two tankers of fuel will arrive. I want you to get your tools ready, clean up the cars. That's quite a command she's got there. She didn't quite understand where she was going, but I like her persistence. It's stupidity, not tenacity. I have one more favor to ask of you. Come to work tomorrow without being late. All the crews are going to the sites. All of them? We'll work a full schedule until the warehouse is full. All day. All day, yeah. Wait, I thought you said if we fill the warehouse, then... I beg your pardon. Andrei Alexievic agrees with me. I ask to do as we agree. Thank you. You stupid, spoiled townswoman. Well, what's so useless about her, we'll see. We still need to go to the sawmill. Andrei, listen. There's a fair in Orlovka. I'm going to go there. Do you want to come with me? Sure. Really? Well, yes. What's the use of you without internet? So, what did you guys think of our boss lady's speech today? It's no use. We've had all kinds of bosses coming over. What's changed? What's changed? When we're all damned? Over. Or maybe she can do it. Over. What does she know about it? Guys, she can actually listen to us. Over. I'm actually listening to you right now. Over and let's be respectful. No matter what, Elena's old boss. And we have an early start tomorrow, a lot of work. All aboard. Damn it. Interesting. From city. You have a degree. What are you doing in the middle of nowhere? Andrei Alexievich. You're not much of a boss. But you have a nice smile.
No, 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 no. It can't be. It can't be. I know it can't be. We'll think about it. See you later. Mikkel McCallick. Good morning. Hello, Elena Alexandrovna. Hello. Where is everybody? They have gone to their sites. Well done. Maranaka, good morning. Can you believe I overslept today for the first time in my life? Well, I see everything's fine. The guys are already at the sites. Well, how can I put this? Guys, this is team two. Somebody give me some gasoline over. We're on sector B8. First team, we're working, but we're on the clock. Over. Why don't they have a gasoline? They got it this morning. No, they didn't bring anything. In the morning, the guys went to work on the leftovers. How could that be? The director of the warehouse promised me. And you believed him. You were warned, there are special rules. Andrew, we're winding down, over. And what shall we do? Over. We go back. Everybody stay where you are. Over. We're out of gasoline. Over. Stay in your stations. I'll be right there. Oh, the buses are coming. Oh, we're all here. Tell us about it. A tree is falling, guys. I don't care if it's the Pope of Rome. The bosses are here. Good morning. Hello, Alana Alexandrovna. Please tell me why did we come here? To wipe logs with our asses. Why didn't anyone bring gasoline? Okay, guys. Everybody with cars that have gasoline. Let's drain the gasoline, fill up the sauce, and get back to the sites. And what are we going back on? Excuse me? We'll walk, Boris. We'll walk, but we'll meet our quota. Of course we will. Come on, drain the gasoline. Where is Andrei Alexievich? Over there at the station. Thank you. Mikulik, what was that all about? Don't smoke in here, workers. Andrei Alexievich. Andrei Alexievich. Are you tired of living? How are you? I told you not to go to the forest. It's dangerous here. I need help. Ask. Give cabin off some logs, anything. I need gasoline. Whatever you say. But I have to get up to do it. Oh, yeah. Sure, sorry. I'm sorry. If you want to gloat about how I failed, now's the time. I don't want to gloat about anything. I just want you to understand that. There are specifics. The sooner you understand it, the sooner you can help us. Do you really want me to help you? Do you really think that I do not care about the Somil and the people who work here? Mikali, why are we sitting here? Waiting for gasoline. Got it. All right, I'm going to the warehouse to get some gasoline. We'll have it worked out by tonight. I told them to drain all the cars. Well, I guess I'll walk.
I can imagine how angry the guys at the stations are. Marins, the first sick without you. They brought gasoline. Do, do, give me a couple of trailers. There will be a couple of trailers. Do we have a deal? Hello, Elena Alexandrovna. Hello. Goodbye, Elena Alexandrovna. Goodbye. I don't expect gratitude. But you deserve it. It's been a hard day. You should go home, get some rest. Let me walk you home. What's wrong? I rubbed my foot. I was walking back from the woods. You're not the only one. Oh, don't remind me. I think the guys hate me. I think they respect you more. Why is that? Tell me. You say exactly what you think. Believe me, it's appreciated here. The townspeople say one thing and do another. You're different. Well, I don't know. I don't think everybody in town is such a hypocrite. I think everyone is. That's why I left there. By the way, Andrei, what did you do in town? Look, will you stop calling me by my middle name? It's kind of embarrassing. Well, okay, Andrei. Can I call you Eleanor? No, no. <laughs> so what did you do anyway? It's a very long and an interesting story. Besides, we're here now. If you need anything, let me know. All I need now is a hot bath. I only have cold water. All right. Then, good evening, Andrei. Goodbye, Elena Alexandrovna. By the way, I never thanked you for saving my life. I hope I won't regret it. Hi, Andri. Hi. Where are you going? There, on business. What business? We're going to the fair. Oh man, listen, I forgot. I got errands to run rain check. Really, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I'm coming, I'm coming, oh, my God. What are you doing here? Sorry, I woke you up, I came to fix the water heater. So there's hot water, may I? What kind of handyman are you? I'll try, it takes your mind off things. What kind of bad thoughts? It doesn't matter. Where have you worked before? That doesn't matter either. I'm going to go get dressed. Do you want some coffee? Yes, I will. So you lived in the city? 
It was so long ago. I don't remember. And you don't remember where you worked either? I don't know. It's just weird. Lived in the city, worked, then came here in this wilderness, a lumberjack. It seems like you were running from something. We're all running from something. Ah, uh, so you're running away after all? Why did you come here? What happened to you? I don't like to lose. That explains a lot of things. Like what? Why you're so? Like what? Stubborn. Are you not answering my question on purpose? Which one? Where you worked. Good coffee? Come on. On purpose, then. Hot. Thank you very much. I'm going to take a shower right now. Right now. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I'll be going then. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Thank you. And the tools. Forgot them. Yes, yes. I won't be long. Yes. I'll be quick. Thank you. All right. Have a good wash. Thank you. Maranaka, good morning. Good morning. Where is everybody? It's been an hour since they went to the work sites. Oh, how nice. What a beautiful morning. Tell me about it. We got the loggers' personnel files restored at your request. Thank you very much. I swear it was a bear. Stop lying over. Why did you think I was up in that tree? We've worked two sectors in a week. That's to be, and the ninth. Here you go. Yeah, what about the warehouse? Half full. Where did you get this miracle? I went to Olaf for this morning on business. I bought it. Thank you. Marina, go drink tea. I have something. No, thanks. I wanted to go to the forest today. Only Michalik is nowhere to be found. I sent him to the boy house today. Ah, uh, here's the thing. By the way, do you know how to drive? I do. Here, we have the keys to the shared car. Mikalik, where are the keys? At me. Come on. Here. If you need them, take them. Thank you. Do you have a manual or automatic? Manual. I don't know how to drive a manual. It's not a problem. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll supervise. I'm the one who has to repair. And the bosses say they repaired it. Where are they going? 
Elena will be studying the manual transmission. MM hum. Yes. So first we'll go through the theory. To start the car, you first make sure that the crank is in neutral. MM hum. Then you use your foot to depress the clutch pedal and the brake pedal. That's left and center. MM hum right. Then turn the key to start the car. Yes, don't start it yet. Theory. Okay. Then you put the crank in first gear. Where's first gear? First gear is right here. Right. Then you release the clutch and the brake. You step on the gas. When the car accelerates, you squeeze the clutch. And then you put it in second gear. Where's second gear? Okay, second gear is right here. Here we go. How many gears does the car have? This one has four. Okay, neutral, right? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's do it. Clutch gear up. Now I'm calm. Well done. Молодец. You're catching everything on the fly. Thanks. It's part of my job. You're always talking about work and work. Do you get any rest at all? Well, I guess I don't know how to rest. I don't know. What about you? Sometimes I like to get away from the world and all my problems. No, 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 that's not what I meant. I mean, I don't drink alcohol when I want to relax. I go to this gorgeous place. This place is beautiful. M.M. Mm Hum, -hmm. listen to that. I don't hear anything. That's what I'm talking about. There's a forest, a river, and absolute silence. There are so many beautiful places I haven't seen. Yes. And the stars here are the most beautiful in the world. The stars are the same everywhere. No, here they are special. And you're a romantic. I mean you. I didn't mean you. I meant you. I get it. I don't mind. I think we're breaking your rule. Sometimes it's okay to break them. I'm the boss here. Andrew, over. Excuse me. The dumping ground went down at the sawmill. What to do? Yes, Mikalik, I'm on my way. Is it time? Yes, we have to go back. Let's go. Please. Andrei, you, here, over. Yes, here, did something happen? No, nothing happened. Um, I just wanted to tell you that you were right about the stars. I feel like I'm seeing them for the first time in my life. You 
And you know, when I first got here, I thought it couldn't get any worse than this wilderness. And now every day I realize what's keeping you all here. And now, I feel like everything I had and everything I knew before, it doesn't matter anymore, it's so unimportant. Stupid, all the hustle and bustle of the past. The city isn't like that at all. People live in it all their lives and have no idea that there are places where they can see the stars for real. I wanted to say thank you for telling me that they're by the ravine. I'm glad you understood that. Over. Thanks again for the hot water. I finally took a bath. So you have hot water there? Can I come over and take a bath? Cause we're kind of. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind either, over. Oh my god, is this a public channel? Shit. I like the one about the stars more. I even cried a few tears, man. Good night, everybody. Sleep well, Elena Alexandrovna. See you tomorrow. Good night, Elena Alexandrovna. Oh my god. Good night, Elena Alexandrovna. Over. Good night, Elena Alexandrovna. Over. What a day. Did you send everyone to the sites? Len, what? I've given the all clear. The warehouses are full. All right, team, take the timber away. Len, have you seen the weather? It's pouring like a bucket. We have to wait. Why wait? It's gonna rain for a week. We don't have time to wait. We got to hurry up. Listen, if we don't get the first batch out, we're screwed. The cars won't get through. How can they not? I was at the site yesterday, and I drove fine. Well, don't confuse an SUV with a multi-ton truck loaded with wood. A lorry is just a lorry to get through. Lena, you don't understand. You don't understand. I'm the boss here, so go ahead, do it. All right. Elena Alexandrovna, Andrei told me to take the wood out, at least you tell him. So I told him. What? Take the forest out. What to take out? Look, it's raining. Well, it's not the end of the world, I don't understand. Are you serious? I'm serious. We can't wait a week. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's no use, I told you. I don't know what's going on. Just take it easy. Normal, not as usual, but calm. I'm calm. Calm. Just to talk, hey. Hi, what's up? Don't you have any idea? We drove onto your road. It's a mess. I'm half a meter stuck. I tried to get off to a fast start. No use. Come on, take it easy. I'm, I'm calm. I'm cool. I am calm, I'm calm. Calm is my middle name. And the other cars. 
and the other cars are over there on the road in a row. Just like that, we could barely get one out. That's how we got back. How come? Like this, you know. That's it. Okay. I'm cool. You're good at being bossy. And if you could just learn to listen, you will be priceless. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Don't cry, we'll think of something. That's it, that's it, that's it. Hello. What's the news? She got the job done and filled the warehouse. Damn it. But she couldn't get the wood out because we got heavy rains. How long's that gonna hold her back? It doesn't matter. I'll make sure she calms down once and forever. Marina, you remember our deal. I'm counting on you. She's not here, and she won't be. Why is it so? After last night, she's probably packing her bags and taking off. She's not that kind of girl. But she's not like us, either. Hey, are you here? Cell phone rings. Hello, is there anyone alive? Andri, can you hear me? Make a leak. We have a problem. The electrical panel at the sawmill burned out. What to do? Got it. I'm on my way. Good morning. 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 How are you? I'm okay. I've been thinking about this situation all night yesterday. Look, I'm a big girl. I'm dealing with my failures. Everything's gonna be all right. Now you see why it's like this at the sawmill. It's impossible to move lumber in weather like this. I've got your opinion. Okay. Andri, I was wondering why there are no road markings in Sector B6. Because there are no roads. They used to mine all there 50 years ago. Then they all dried up and there was an abandoned mine. So you're not logging there? It's in the middle of nowhere. There are sectors closer. I was checking the map last night and I noticed that if you put a road through the sector right to the river, we could raft wood down the river without depending on rain and weather. Elena, that's completely impossible. There's a huge mountain, a big boulder that covers half the sector. If there wasn't a mountain, we'd start sending the timber down the river ourselves a long time ago. Forget it. What if we could find a way around the mountain? There's no such a road. Well, there just isn't. Okay, 
I'll find it myself. Okay, stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, going out there by yourself is a mortal danger. I'm not kidding right now. Let's go together tomorrow. The storm knocked out all the electrics. Nothing works. I just need to take care of this. Okay. You promise? Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Tell me what's going on. I know it was a short circuit. All the wiring melted. We got to replace it. Okay. There's a lot of changes to be made. It's a lot of work. Well, let's not drag it out. Let's get started. Here I put the documents in order. Thank you, Marina. We had some bad weather yesterday. Did you hear that the switchboard behind the sawmill went down? Yes, yes, I heard. But it's okay. Andre will fix it today, and tomorrow we'll go to study G6. Tomorrow? Yes. I think it's unlikely. Why not? Because it's two or three days' work. I think your trip will have to be postponed. We can't postpone it. We have to hurry. Well, what can we do? Are we going tomorrow? Oh shit, Len, we've had an emergency. The panels burnt out on the power reinforcement. So, no, we're not going. You promised me. Len, until we get this fixed, nothing's gonna work. Production stalled. You don't understand. We need to find a way to ship the first shipment of wood. The future depends on it. Okay, all right, I'll help Mahalik in the morning and if we can make it by lunch, we'll go to your sector. And if we can't, that's more important. Lena, the power's out, production stored, your wilderness isn't going anywhere. Men always decide they're right. Marina, do we have a radio? Yes, we do. You're not going now, are you? It's late. No, I'm going tomorrow. Here, but it's dead. Put it on the charger, please. I will. Good morning. Morning. You're still going. Yes. I'll be back before lunch. Don't tell Andre, okay? Okay, Elena Alexandrovna. Walkie-talkie. Yes. That's right. Thank you, Marina. I almost forgot the most important thing. Thank you. We don't have electricity, and she's still out in the woods looking for adventure. Yes, what can I say, Andrew, it's flimsy, but it's good that at least there is one, then I'll look for a new one. I do not understand, 
What does it mean, a new one? Well, there was no other wiring at the warehouse. This one is a thin, temporary solution. You mean the wiring? All right, I'm gonna run down to the warehouse, see if I can find something better. Keep this one for now. She's actually nice and smart. I thought you said it was squishy. I was talking about the wiring, and your Elena Alexandrovna is a good, smart woman. Why is she mine? She's not mine. Wow, whose is she? You've been talking about her all day. She seems to like you too. I don't know whether she likes me. We're like cat and dog. What are you arguing about? You'd better take a closer look. You're a good-looking, smart guy. You've got your whole life ahead of you. I don't get it. Make a leak. What are you doing to me? Matchmaking. Matchmaking. You know why I'm not good with relationships. How long has it been? What's there to remember? A whole life will go by like that. All right, enough talk. Let's get to work. Well, get to work. Yeah, what's up? Here we go. Warehouse? Warehouse? Can anyone hear me? McLeek? Mikalik, Andri. What the hell? Well. Okay. So, let's have a look, yeah. Here's the sawmill. Here's the road. This is where I turned off. There's the river, okay. It's a long way back. We could take a shortcut here. All right. Come on, let's go. That's it. Jenna, over. Come in, over. How is the power line? Restored. Turn it on. Mikali, is it working? Of course it works. Everything always works for Mikalik. Elena, everything is fixed. Now we can go. Marina, where's Elena? I don't know. She took her keys and a walkie-talkie and left. So she did it on her own. When was this? Uh, this morning. Lena, Lena. Over, Elena Alexandrovna. Over, gather the people. Lena, this is Andri. 
over, Lena, 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 over. Dirt road to the east. Where's east? If I came from the south, then that's where the east is. Yes. So it's a dirt road behind those bushes. Elena, the battery in the walkie-talkie is dead. Why did she leave the car? Because she's out of control. See if the car's broken down, or whatever's wrong with it. What could break down in here? It's a car. It's out of gasoline. And with her temper, she couldn't just stay here and wait for help. She went to find her own way. Lena, Lena. Lena. A thunderstorm is coming. If we don't find Elena Alexandrovna before the storm, consider her dead. Don't make it worse. All right, men, let's split into three groups and make a good search. Carefully. Good. Mika, Serioga are going with me. About seven years ago, an electrician left and never came back. He disappeared. They found him six months later. Oh. I guess I don't know much about maps. Elena Alexandrovna. Lena. You. Oh, my God, I'm so glad it's you. I told you, if you get lost, stay where you are, they'll find you. We need to go up. That's where we are. 
What's wrong with you? What hurts? I don't know. My leg hurts. Your leg? We can't go up with a leg like that. We can't go. Sit down, sit down. We should find some shelter and wait for them to find us. I found one place. It's not far. Lean on me. I'll help you. Come on. Just a little bit at a time. Shh, shh. I had a flashlight. I got it. Okay, hold it so I could see. Looks like you have a closed fracture. We're gonna need to splint it. Better on the pen leg. Watch it. We'll put it on your shirt. Does it hurt? No. You're curly, aren't you? It's the rain. I don't like it like that. I like it. By the way, where did you learn all this stuff? I took a first aid course at the university. And you remember everything? I was a good student. Look, how did you end up in this wilderness? <clears throat> There's one person who really wants me to lose, but I won't give them the satisfaction. Let me guess, it's a man. No, it's a woman. I thought she was my friend. So you've been brought here by betrayal? Betrayal brought you here too. Why are you here? You could say that. You promised me, you tell me. It's not an interesting story. Well, we've got a long time to sit here and plenty of time. Maybe you should try it. All right. Before I came here, I had a girlfriend. We made plans for our lives. We wanted to get married. I dreamed of a family and children. She said she did, too. And I guess she didn't? Well, or why wouldn't you if she did? Except it wasn't just me. Turns out she had several other men on the side. And she promised each one a family and children. I'm sorry. There are women like that. Yes, they do. And I loved one of them, I did. And then I moved away from my old life. There you go. So you're a city boy. Anyway, what did you do in the city? Can't I have a secret? I get it. You were a secret agent. It's a secret. Thank you. You all thank you. Oh, okay. Here you go. Are you sure they'll find us? They will. And if they don't? Then they'll go back the place they lost me. See my walkie-talkie, your map. The ravine and the footprints on the ravine. They'll figure it out, and they'll find us for sure. Are those wolves? No, no, they're hedgehogs. Come on, go to bed. You need your strength tomorrow. Am I being too panicky or something? No, you're doing great. It's true. You're probably right. It's gonna be okay. Aha! Uh -huh.
Good night. Good night. Andrewka. Elena. Elena Alexandrovna. <laughs> Lena. Lena. Oh man, we've already looked all over. Where could they have gone? Well, I guess we didn't look everywhere. Let's go there, men. We haven't been there yet. Andruka Elena Alexandrovna. Mikalik. Andruka. Mikalik. Andruka. Uh, the mine's abandoned. We're not going in. Let's go this way. Hurry up, Andruka. Andruka! Here, he's my colleague. Come here. Where? I thought I'd never see you again. Whoa, what happened to your leg? Broke it. I fell off a cliff before. That's where Lena fell. Where is she? She's out of control. I don't know. We slept together. I woke up alone. Guys, we have to find her quickly before she goes somewhere else. Elena Alexandrovna. Those women, if you don't find her in time, you lose her again. Hold the walkie-talkie and don't lose it. Elena Alexandrovna. Elena Alexandrovna. I'm here. You'll never guess what I found. The mine leads to the river. What? Well, we should at least give it a try. But why are all your ideas on the brink of life and death? How? Our main goal is to get the logs delivered. And the river is the only chance. Well, Mikalik, is it true? Well, tell him. It's not about me. Either the road or the river. We can't take the road because it's raining. We can't take the river because of the mountain. Yeah, but there's a tunnel in the mountain that leads to the river. Well, it's not a tunnel, Lena. We've been there. A man can barely squeeze through it. So, how's our plaster drive? Oh, that's great. 
It's a minor fracture. I think you'll be out of that cast in a month. In the meantime, I'm prescribing bed rest. Your leg needs rest. Well, you can take your patient now. Thank you. Sector 6G is quite far away if you go by existent roads. Very far. Yes, the roads are winding, but if you go straight from the sawmill to the sector, it's not very far. You can walk through, you can't go through, it's all woods. That's true, but we have a team of loggers. We can cut down the forest to build a road. Do you have any idea how much work that would be? It would take us six months to build that road with that many people. And if there are several times as many people, we can do it in a month. Several times as many, where will we get them? I've already made arrangements with the boss of the warehouse. He'll send his men. Well, there's not much work in Orlovka, so everyone needs an extra penny. Andre will not like it. Well, let's say, let's say we cut a road, then what? The mine's too narrow anyway. Well, we'll expand it there. Lenica, don't you understand? It's unrealistic, you can't just widen it. And also so that a truck can pass through there. Well, it's realistic for trains. It's just a truck. Tunnels are blown for trains. And we'll blow it. Oh, what nonsense. Well, at least tell her. Theoretically, we can blow up the mine. We have dynamite in our warehouse. Mikalik, dynamite is not enough. We need specialists. Listen, Jenna is a specialist. He was an explosion expert. I read in his personal file. Well, let's say we can do it. Theoretically, to expand the mine, we'll have to use all our men. And that would require shutting down production, which we can't afford to do. We can, we can shut down production for one month, but after that, we can never depend on the weather again. You don't agree with that either? It isn't about me, we have dynamite, we can blow up the mine. Make a leak. In general, I don't get to decide anything I was asked, I answered. It's up to you two to decide. I brought you some sandwiches. You must be hungry. Take a walk. Thanks for the sandwiches. Aha. Uh -huh. Lena, you got to understand. It's not a good idea. It's the only way out. And that's not food. You know, I thought if Mikulik feeds you sausage sandwiches, it won't end well. Hello. Elena Alexandrovna, you're very right about Mikalik. That's why I decided to take care of Andri's food and brought some fresh soup. You too. How? Well, put it on the table. I'll deal with it later. Um, 
I see you're in good hands. I should probably get going. Yes. Thank you. Cheers. Lena. Goodbye. What's she doing here? She cares. Just like you. What caring? If it wasn't for her, everything would be fine at the sawmill and at your place. Lena fell into the ravine. She had nothing to do with it. Actually, she's the one who got lost. They went looking for her, and I don't like the whole dynamite thing. At least you stay out of it. Marina. Well, what Marina? Can I stay alone? Oh. Yes, as you wish. I'll put this in the fridge. Wow, mushroom soup, my god. Pussy, pussy, pussy. Good morning, Elena Alexandrovna. Good morning, Michael Mihalik. Round everybody up and prepare dynamite, please. Does Andri know? Andri's on sick leave. But, um, uh, we need to tell him. Look, either you get everyone together, or I'll do it myself. I'm gonna get some dynamite and blow the damn mine. Good morning. Attention. Everyone, the main force will be making its way into the mine. We need to do it as quickly as possible. And while we're paving the way, Jenna will be blowing up the mine. We have one month to do it all. A month? We can't do it in a month. I understand. I understand. We call the team from Orlovka to help, guys. There's a lot of work. It will be hard to work. But if we support each other, we'll do it all right. Well, what's the job? Let's get to work. Jenna, yeah. Don't smoke here. They don't seem inspired. The main thing is that they work. Men, who's got cigarettes? You should have your own. Athletes? Sure. Thank you. All right, guys, why aren't you working? Elena Alexandrovna, what's the point of paving the road if the mine is not expanded? Okay, we have to work in parallel. We don't have time to wait. Elena Alexandrovna, we're going to ruin everything. We'll be breaking our backs for nothing. Borya, it won't ruin. I'm asking you all to return to your workplaces. All right, Elena Alexandrovna, if it pleases you, we'll do it. Thank you. That's it. Men, let's move the pistons. Boris, put that cigarette out. Mikulik, how much is enough? As long as it takes. It's a nightmare what it's like at all the stations. They don't work. They don't believe in your idea. Take me to Andri, will you? Andre, sit down at the table. I spent half the night cooking a new recipe for you. Oh, thank you. Andre, we need to talk. What's up? Things are moving very slowly. People are working slipshod. Andre, I think you need to rest. You shouldn't talk about work. Marina, please get out of here. Marina, let us talk. Please speak. They smoke every five minutes. They announce lunch every hour. I don't understand. I thought we were working for a common cause. 
Lena, you got to understand. They're just people. They don't understand the depth of what you're trying to do. What do we do next? Hold the jack. <laughs> Mikalik, hold it, please. Andrew, come. Wait, wait, what are you doing? I'm going to work. There's no one else. We're gonna do all that. You already did. That idea of hers, it's a bit of a fantasy. Fantastic is when Hannibal drove elephants across the Alps. All we got is lumber. All we got is saws. And just logs. Oh, come on, we'll do it. I promise you. Let's go, man. Thank you. This is where the forest is cut down. Let's keep paving the road to the mine. What's this? Jenna is blowing up the mine. Thank you, Mikalik, for seeing us off. Oh, Jenna's inspired. The day's work is over, and he's still blasting away. Well, the road's been paved. Now it's up to the mine. Yeah, it's good that Andre talked to the guys. Tell me, do you know what he was doing in town? Nobody knows. He won't tell me. I don't ask. Good evening. Hello, Marina. I brought dinner to Andre. She's always running after him. She used to date Boris. Okay, I'll go. Marina, I've already said everything. Am I interrupting? No, of course. Come on in. How's work going? Great, great. That's why I'm here. I wanted to thank you. Me? Yeah. I wanted to say I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks for talking to the guys. Well, that's our business. I thought you were against it. Listen, Lena. This summer has been around a long time and people are kind of used to the old ways. You know, nothing ever changes. And then you came along and everything changed. And I'm sure when you finish your plans, everyone will be grateful and I'll be a fool. I am narrow-minded. That's why I was against it. Now I realize I need a change. We need a change. I hate these moments. Careful. I wanted to tell you that I... I forgot to pick up the bags. Work's progressing nicely. 
feel better. Goodbye. Elena Alexandrovna, I congratulate you, it's your merit. Thank you, Mikulik. Why didn't you knock? That's it, Mikulik. What's wrong? Our Genka something. What's the matter? He fell for it. I told you he'll fall for it. Get the champagne. There he is. The truck went through the shaft. I did it. Well done. You'd think a simple line with a felt tip pen would turn into a real road, huh? We did it. Well done. How's the doctor? I'd like to get this cast off as soon as possible. Then we'll take it off. You've got a perfect recovery. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, goodbye. Marina, is last month's financial report ready? I'm carrying it. That's great. You are just shining. What's not to be happy about? The passage to the river is open. Our progress report is ready. Why shouldn't I be happy? Go to Orlovka and send everything by registered mail urgently. Got it. Thank you. Happy recovery. Thank you. I heard about your progress. You finally made it. Yeah, Jenna did a great job. That's a big win. I was sad I missed the whole thing. You didn't miss anything. The fun is just beginning. Yeah. It's going to be totally different now. I've learned that if you want something, you have to fight for it, even if it's scary. Well, you're the only one who believed in this idea from the beginning. And I'm not talking about the mill. I'm talking about us. Lena, I, there's something I want to tell you. I. Oh, my God. There's something I have to explain. I get it. Sorry, I was wrong. It's not about that. It's not about you. Andre, please don't say anything, okay? Why did Elena broke out? Was she crying? 
She better not talk to me. Oh, this is serious. So spill it. Hi. Hey, Marina. How's it going at the sawmill? Fine. My husband doesn't drink over there. No, I don't think so. This needs to be sent right away. Urgent. So urgent. It'll arrive at the address tomorrow. Thank you. You're a fool, even though you're smart. I'm just trying to keep her safe. From what? From you. Get that out of your head. You love her. I can see that. Love is such a thing, Dad, which can be very painful afterwards. Stop living in the past. You think you're the only one like that around here. Everyone's running away from something. And I didn't come to this place to enjoy a good life. So, what are you going to do, Die? Yes, to die, to die in this wilderness, Mikali. The worst thing is that you fool yourself. You love and deny it at the same time. Listen, Andrew. If you continue to be afraid of this feeling, it will leave you once and for all. And in its place will come a cold emptiness. And that's when you'll know what real pain is. Zana Viktrovna, what do you want? I got a registered letter from Orlovka addressed to you. From Orlovka, in my name? Yes. Well, that's right, give it to me. Inaka, anything else? Take a break, go have lunch. Hello, Zena Viktrovna. This is Marina. Did you get the documents? Yes. Yes, Marinaka, yes. I got everything well done. If these documents had been sent to the management, everything would be lost. So what's next? Then I redo those documents. And the sawmill goes from being a successful business into a loss-making operation. 
Gruß. That means it's done. Yes, Marina, you've done a good job. And now you'll hire me. Where to? What do you mean where? To the main office, you promised. Um, uh, Maranaka, you don't worry, everything will be fine. What will be fine? You know, I just don't have any free positions right now. I have to fire a couple of people, but as soon as it gets free, I'll take you to a good position. Hello, Marina? Something's wrong with the connection, Marina, Marina, Marina. Lena, I've been thinking a lot about what you were saying. Put the suitcase down. Why? We need to talk. It seems to me that everything has already been said. Andrey Alexievich. Do you want to leave so easily? What about the sawmill? I think the sawmill will do just fine without me. Len, these are for you. Thanks, but I like roses. Well, I'm sorry roses don't grow here. Why are you here? I wanted to tell you that I acted very stupidly the other day. Oh, come on. Let's not be sarcastic. Why did you come here? When the first to live here, I wanted to forget. Andre, why did you came here now? I mean, you know. I don't know. Tell me. It doesn't matter. Leaving after all, Elena Alexandrovna? Yes, I'm leaving. Andrey? Mikulik, let's go faster. Do you know that Lena left? I know, so what? Forever? 
So? Let me help you. No. Is this about her? Not your business. Andre, you understand that she doesn't need you. She does not need anyone. Leave it. Yeah, let it go. Everything will fall into place without her. She's just a crafty manipulator. Marina. She used you to get to her target. Marina, stop slinging mud at her. She left you and went away because she doesn't love you. Marina. And I do love for real. Marina, I don't love you. I'm sorry. Where do you think you're going? Actually, we're early. There's plenty of time before the train. Do you have your ticket? Uh, yeah. Why don't I walk you home? Lena, you're making a mistake. It's my mistake and my decision. Mikhail Michalik, I wanted to tell you that you're a very valuable employee and if you want to move to some other place, we have a lot of projects in our holding. You know, I'll be sure to help you out. Thank you, I'm fine here. Maybe if I were younger, as it is by my age I've realized that life is a useless pursuit of happiness. Why useless? Because when you chase happiness, you don't realize it's always with you. That's very wise. Yeah, unfortunately. I realized that too late and I've spent my whole life chasing happiness instead of just being happy. Be happy. Elena Alexandrovna. Misha, I love him. Let's go quickly. Andre, where is he? He has gone. Where? You know, he didn't say. He just packed up and said he never came back here. All because of you. You're the one who blames everyone around you. And you're the one who takes other people's stuff. Marina, are you out of your mind? I love Andre. That doesn't mean he loves you. He would if it there wasn't you. That's why I hate you. Thank you for your honesty, but it won't change anything. It will, because I've already gotten back at you. What's that supposed to mean? You think your car just stopped for no reason, and your radio's dead. What did you do with that? I wanted you to disappear. As you can see, I didn't. And I found my way to the river, so thank you. The sawmill's on the upswing. You're getting excited early. I sent all your reports not to the management, but to Zana Viktrovna. She will correct them and the sawmill will be bankrupt. You're stupid, Marina. I'm just used to fighting for what's mine.
Mikulik, let's go. Where? To the station. And Andri? He's gone. I had to get there before the train left. We've been swapped. He must have taken the bus to the station. He's gone. I called Andri. He's out of range. Mikulik. Take my suitcases out. Elena Alexandrovna, I'll call again. Don't worry, really. Everything's fine. Take them out. I've some work to do. Go home safely. Go. Well, okay. I think we should get rid of all illiquid enterprises. And all free financial flows should be directed to potentially profitable enterprises. Bravo, that's what I said. We should always get rid of illiquid enterprises. Elena Alexandrovna, hello. Felix Stepanovic, hello. I have an urgent conversation to have with you. I'm in a business meeting. Call me later. It's only one minute. It's very urgent. Urgent? Yeah. It's about the reports I sent you on the sawmill. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, what you saw was a mistake. What kind of mistake? The business at the sawmill is not as described in the report. They were intercepted before they got to you. I don't understand anything. Well, let me explain it to you in a minute. You don't have to explain anything. Come to my office and explain it to me here. Yes, there's a grain of truth in what you say, liquidity, not liquidity. It's a flexible term. Sometimes an illiquid enterprise can be much more profitable if management is smart. Yes, but not in all cases. I apologize. What do you want? I know what kind of game you're playing. It's not a game. This is serious. The report is fake. What are you going to do next? And then, I won't leave you out of the woodwork. Felix Stepanovic has already realized that the sawmill is bankrupt. That's why tomorrow afternoon, there will be a deal to sell it. I'll come and he'll know the truth. After the deal, no one will care about the truth, and no one will care about you. We'll see about that. Honey, while you were stuck in the middle of nowhere, I took over the whole place, so you can look for a new job. Aha, uh -huh. oh, yeah, the new owner doesn't want the mill, he's gonna tear it down. There's no deal, I'm out of here. What was that? Was that Lena? Yeah, yeah, I'm pleased, yeah, well... It's always nice when the full amount hits the account. Felix Stepanovic. The deal has to be stopped. I'll call you back. Stop what? May I? Yes. I'll explain in a moment. So? This report, it's a forgery. Felix Stepanovic, it's not true. What's not true? Everything she says. Well, go on, go on, I'm interested. The delivery of wood has been arranged. The first shipment has already gone. 
If you don't believe me, call the mill. They've got the product, the sawmills, doing well. Well, why is it different here? Because it's not my report. Zena Viktorovna got it before you did and rewrote it. Sana Viktorovna, is it true? Of course not. Why would I do that? We work in the same company. I should call production. Sure you should. I don't see the point. Then let the two of you explain it to me. Felix Stepanovic, maybe some of the logs have gone. But that doesn't mean anything. The sawmill is unprofitable. And Lena's just getting out of it because she couldn't handle it. I did. I'm begging you, please check this out in person. I don't have time to check everything personally and deal with your arguments. Besides, the summer issue has been resolved. What do you mean, it's settled? Don't you know? Know what? It's been sold. But the transaction was supposed to take place at 12, and now it's only 11 o'clock. There was supposed to be a meeting at 12, but Sona Viktorovna called back in the evening and postponed the meeting. The deal took place an hour ago. The sawmill is sold. Sona Viktorovna, please leave us alone. Let's sit down. I know how responsible you are for your work. And I'm sorry I really am what happened with the sawmill. But it's a job that needs to be done, and I'm counting on you. Tomorrow the new owner arrives, we'll have to meet him and hand over the property. You want me to do it? Not Sina. I hope you can handle it. I'll manage. What? Didn't expect it. I finally beat you. I'm afraid you beat yourself. They're gonna find out the truth anyway. So what? Len. I've been climbing the career ladder for years, fighting for my place. And girls like you come in here and think they can have it all. It doesn't work that way. You're good, Sana. You're a fighter. Only in this fight, you're the only one standing up for yourself. And I'm fighting for people. Why didn't those people help you get the general manager's job? That's not what's important.
Elena Alexandrovna. Elena Alexandrovna. Yes. Elena Alexandrovna. I'm here. People say they saw you and I didn't believe it. I decided to see for myself, huh? And Andrei doesn't come back. No, I thought you guys were coming back together. No, I was at the office. Oh, I see. So you're the new manager of the sawmill. No, Mikulovic. I brought bad news. Marina, Marina. Marina. Fine. I need all the documents on the sawmill. A list of objects and property, a list of employees and last month's financial report. Why don't you? It's urgent. Oh, hello, Elena Alexandrovna. Hello. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. How's it going in our main office? Maybe a bonus for us. What's up with the advance? Guys, I have bad news. You can sit down. Hey. Good afternoon, Elena Alexandrovna. As you know, the sawmill was unprofitable because we couldn't haul wood in bad weather. So we've already made a road. We made a tunnel in the mountain, but there are more forests to be felled. Well... Yeah, we all did it. You all did it. You did a great job, and I'm proud of you. But unfortunately, the company decided to sell the mill. What do you mean, sell? The decision has been made. The owner is coming today. I've been sent here to hand over the deal. But I'm worried about something else. I heard that the new owner wants to demolish the sawmill. Demolish it? But how? No, no, Elena Alexandrovna, that's not the way to do it. Wait, we all live here. He has no right. Well, technically, Kalia, he does. He bought the sawmill together with the land. He bought what? What do you mean, Elena Alexandrovna? Quiet. Guys, I'm really worried about this too. And I have a plan. I just need your help. Go ahead, Elena Alexandrovna. We're ready, guys, really. Yes. Of course we are. Ready. Let's show the new owner that our work is running smoothly. The timber is being hauled out on time, profits are high, and maybe he'll change his mind about tearing it down. And if he doesn't? Jenna, he will. I'll have Marina prepare a financial report for last month. He'll see that our numbers are high, our profits are growing. I'm counting on your support. I will personally do everything that depends on me, but you must also help go to your desks. Thank you. Just like that, go to work. Thanks, Mikalik. Where are you going? Are you going to cut wood? Well, so, uh, so, we do everything as Lena said. Mikalik, what does your Lena understand? Now the summer will be closed. She'll go to town, and what do we do? This is our home. Mikalik, understand? Where should we go? Well, we have nowhere to go, no place to go. We'll defend our land. What have you already thought of? What's on your mind? I'll break this new owner's bones. Think for yourself, Mikali. There are a lot of us. We'll block the entrance to the summer with logs and nobody will come here. The police will come here. Well, if the police come, we'll do the same. I was born here, like a lot of people out there, but you're a commuter. So if you don't like our idea, you can go to Elena Alexandrovna and decide with her differently. Do what you can. And we're going. Shall we go, men? Aha. Uh -huh. That's right. Let's go, men. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, I hope this helps change his mind. That's it. Yeah, okay. Elena Alexandrovna. Yes. Well, it's bad. Boris has got the guys on the run. They want to block the road. The new bosses won't let them in. That's how it is. 
fools, eh? I told them the same thing. So take it, men. One, two, three. Wait, what are you doing? I'm trying to save the mill, and you're just making it worse. How much worse can it get? Elena Alexandrovna, I beg you, go, don't interfere. We'll take care of it ourselves. Don't you realize that you'll be demolished for sure because of this? We'll see about that. Well, here they are. Boris, don't. Hey, guys. Hey. I was expecting a warm welcome, but not this warm. We actually thought it was the new owner. We were gonna punch him in the face. Guys, I'm the new owner of the sawmill. Yeah, you're the new owner of the sawmill. Yeah, I bought it. What do you mean? What did you buy it for? I had my own business before I came to work here, but because of a situation, I decided to come live here. Anyway, my assistant told me the summer was for sale and there was a buyer, and I bought it back. And now it's mine. I'm sorry, it's ours. And what happens to the sawmill now? What will happen? We'll work, make money. Work, earn money. You could have at least told me. I couldn't, sorry. You heard what the boss said, make money, go, with a smile, businessman. I don't want to see you go away. I wanted to tell you. But you didn't. Yeah, I didn't tell you, sorry. You know, you made me realize the most important thing if you want something badly enough. You have to fight for it. Don't put your hands on me. Let me go right now. You have no right to kiss me. Again, go away, Andrei. Yes. No. Hello, Elena Alexandrovna. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Marina. I wanted to thank you for coming with me to the office and telling the truth. It's important for them to know the truth. Thank you. Elena Alexandrovna. I also wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance. And I'm really ashamed that I went along with Zana and did nasty things to you. Well, Zana's fired. And you'll be working with us. Wait. What? We made up a... Hold on. Well, Mikuli. Wait, Boots. 
Well, what are you going to do? Come in. And everything will be fine. Mikalik, hello. Hi. How are you? Morning. Good morning. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. I have a surprise for you. Let's go. I'll be back soon. I don't think you will. I mean, I love you, Marina. I'm going to work or something. And all the girlfriends are in pairs. I've been meaning to ask you for a long time. What are we going to do next? Live. Love each other. I like it. Here or in the town? How do you think? I know you've been offered the general manager's job. Well, I haven't accepted it yet. You will. If I accept, I'll have to leave. Will you come with me? I know how much you love this place, the nature. You don't want to go. But if I go, will you come with me? I love you. And I'll go anywhere with you. Well, then we're going back to town to pack up my things and move them here. What do you mean? We're staying. Forever?